Hey guys, Bad Infos here. As you know, on this channel I mainly do GTA 100% walkthroughs. I go into detail on how to complete the missions the most interesting, fastest and best ways. Two years ago I completed my 100% walkthrough of GTA San Andreas. And today I decided to give you a short informational video with a 100% checklist. Here I'll discuss everything you need to know about the game, how you should start your own playthrough, I'll give you some pointers, tell you what you should avoid doing, what order you should do the missions in and show you all the rewards you get after 100% completion. Completing only the main story missions is not enough in order to get 100%. There are also many side missions scattered around the whole map. In my walkthrough I cover every aspect of getting 100% completion, but here I'll show you the whole list of requirements. Number 1. The Main Story Missions There are exactly 90 main story missions in the game, and you need to complete them all, starting from in the beginning and finishing it off with end of the line. Apart from that we have 15 side storyline missions, which unlock after purchasing certain assets. After purchasing Zero's RC shop, you unlock 3 missions. After purchasing Wang cars, you unlock 4 missions. And finally the 6 casino heist missions for the 4 Dragons Casino. Number 3. The Vehicle Missions This includes Taxi Driver, which can be done in a taxi and a cabbie, in which you have to complete 50 fares total. Luckily, you don't have to do them all in a row. Vigilante, which can be done in a police car, an HPV 1000 bike, the Enforcer, the Ranger, the FBI Rancher, FBI Truck, Barracks, the SWAT Tank, the Hunter and the Rhino. You need to pass level 12 and kill all the criminals in a row. The Firefighter Mission, initiated by getting into a fire truck. Again, you need to complete 12 levels in a row. The Paramedic Mission, in which you have to complete level 12 again in a row. The Pimping Mission, in which you have to complete level 10 in a row. And finally the Freight Train mission in which you have to complete level 2 not in a row. Number 4. The 3 vehicle challenges. Collect all the checkpoints for the BMX challenge in Los Santos. Complete the 3 Chiliad races in the countryside. And finally collect all the checkpoints for the NRG 500 challenge. Number 5. The Schools. You need to pass every test in all the schools with at least a bronze medal. Gold is not required for 100% completion. The Driving School in San Fierro which has 12 tests. The Boat School in Bayside Marina which has 5 tests. The Flight School in the Desert which has 10 tests. And finally the Bike School which has 6 tests. Number 6. The Courier Missions You need to complete 3 courier missions in the game, one in each major city. In Los Santos at Robo's Food Mart you have to complete 4 levels. In San Fierro at Hippie Shopper you have to complete 4 levels. And finally in Las Venturas at Burger Shot you have to complete 4 levels again. Number 7. The Extra Asset Missions which unlock after passing certain storyline missions. Trucking in the countryside where you have to complete 8 delivery missions. Valid parking in San Fierro where you have to complete 5 levels. And finally quarry in the desert where you have to complete 7 missions. Number 8. Complete all 4 stadium events. The first one is a race called 8 Trek in Los Santos. You need to beat your competition and finish in first place. Next we have Blood Bowl in San Fierro. You need to get your timer up to 1 minute. Next we have Dirt Track in Las Venturas in which you have to finish in first place. And finally we have Kickstart again in the Las Venturas Stadium where you have to get a score of at least 26. 
number 9, the 4 race tournament. In Los Santos you have to finish all 9 races on first place. In San Fierro you have to finish all 6 races on first place. In Las Venturas you have to finish all 4 races on first place. And finally in Las Venturas we have to complete all 6 air races. There is no time limit, you just have to complete them. Number 10, the collectibles. We have to collect 4 different things in this game. All locations will be in my walkthrough videos of course. Spray all 100 tags in Los Santos using a spray can. Take 50 snapshots in San Fierro using a camera. Collect 50 horseshoes in Las Venturas. And finally collect 50 oysters scattered around the whole map underwater. Number 11, the miscellaneous missions. You need to get all 30 vehicles to the import-export crane in San Fierro. You need to beat the 3 gym instructors in the game and learn the new moves. You need to purchase all 26 safe houses in the game. You need to complete 3 rounds for each stage in the ammunition shooting range. And that completes the 100% checklist for GTA San Andreas. And now I'll show you the best order of completion with no spoilers. When you start off GTA San Andreas, you spawn in Los Santos and would be free to roam around and do any side mission you desire. However, I don't suggest starting off with the side missions. You should first complete the opening mission of the game. After you pass the first main mission, you can do the rest in this order. Get the spray can and spray all the 100 tags in Los Santos. Doing that would get you 4 weapon spawns at your safe house. Now park a car in your garage, get a weapon and start shooting your vehicle until it catches fire. Once it does, walk away, open the door again and repeat the process. If you run out of ammo, you can restock at your safe house. Doing that increases your weapon stats. And in no time you would reach Hitman level on the AK, Tech 9 and the Sword of Shotgun. Next you wanna start the paramedic mission, completing it increases your health to max. Alternatively, you could wait until you unlock the countryside and do the paramedic mission in Angel Pine. Doing it there makes the mission much much shorter and easier. It's your choice, but I advise you to do it right now in Los Santos. Once you have increased your health, you want to tackle the vigilante mission. Get yourself a police bike and complete 12 levels of vigilante. Once you do, your armor increases to max. Again, alternatively, you could wait and do it in a hunter later on, but if you do, for most of the game you won't have the armor benefit, so I advise you to do it right now. After that you need to start firefighter, completing it makes your fire proof. Completing taxi driver unlocks the taxi boost and gives you nitros in all the taxis you drive. It's not very useful in the missions, but can help you out during police chases. Last but not least may shock you because I haven't mentioned it yet, complete the burglary mission. It's it's not required for 100%, but if you complete it you unlock the infinite sprint. It will definitely help you out during the missions. Alright, that's all the preparation you need. Passing any more side missions doesn't really give you any benefit, so it's time to continue the story. Start and complete all the Los Santos missions. This is very important. Once you unlock the gang wars and your map looks like this, do not try to take over all the territories. After a while they will disappear and you would lose all the progress you have made. We shall revisit them later, just don't do it at this point. This is when you wanna travel all the way to San Fierro and talk to Katie. If she likes you, she can become your girlfriend. Now when you die, you won't lose any of your weapons. Talking to Katie can even be done at the beginning of the game, but it's very dangerous and I don't advise it. And now it's time to take all the 50 snapshots. So get the camera from the train station and start shooting. 
Doing that would give you 4 weapon spawns at your garage. Just like before, get the shotgun, park a car in your garage and start shooting it. Congratulations, your shotgun has hit man level. You can now start the San Fierro missions. Once you unlock the driving school, you can start doing the tests. Complete all tests with at least a bronze medal. Doing it right now is beneficial because it also increases your driving skill. Once you unlock the desert, you wanna go and talk to Barbara in El Cuebrados. If she likes you, she will become your girlfriend and if you ever get busted, you would never lose your weapons. Again, just like Katie, you can find her at the beginning of the game, but it's dangerous, so do it now. Once you complete Green Goo, you get the jetpack reward. Use it to get over 50 horseshoes in Las Venturas. If you do, 4 weapons would spawn at the 4 Dragons Casino. Once you start the riot mission immediately fail it. Passing riot turns Los Santos into a war zone. This is the moment in which you wanna do some side missions, mainly the gang territories. Trying to take over territories in riot mode makes it a lot harder, so before you pass it, take over 19 territories. You can now progress through the game and complete the last story mission. And now what's left is all the side missions which you haven't done already. Of course you can space them out before completing the game, it's your choice but again, they don't give you any benefits, so it doesn't matter when you do them. And once you have passed all the side missions, congratulations, you are 100% complete! The rewards for 100% completion are as follows. You receive 1 million bucks. A Hydra spawns on top of Sweet's roof in Ganton. A Rhino spawns under the bridge in Ganton. You get infinite ammo. No matter how much you shoot, you would never run out of it. And lastly, any vehicle you drive would have double health. If this was confusing for you guys, don't be shy and ask me questions in the comment section below. Check my 100% walkthrough playlist in the description for more help. you see the best and easiest ways of completing the missions. Lastly, if you found this video useful, I encourage you to rate it accordingly and subscribe to my channel for future tutorials and walkthroughs. Thank you so much for watching.